Here's a little spoiler warning for Flash Season 2, possibly Season 3, and the Flashpoint storyline from DC Comics. Flash Season 2 has come to an end, now on to Season 3. What were we left with? Well, Zoom was dragged off by the Flash Dementors, Time Wraiths, giving us the origin for the Black Flash, which no one asked for. Found out that Barry's dad from an alternate Earth, Earth 3, is the real Jake Eric. Kind of underwhelming when he ran off at the end. Oh, and Barry almost got closure with Iris. Ooh, so close to a happy ending. <coughs> and then Barry decided to run back in time and fuck everything up, everything. Barry has now saved his mother from being murdered by the reverse flash, which is then followed by season one version of Barry fading out of existence, cool. Season two Barry has been a real D-bag to season one Barry. Remember when he ran back in time and I uh, knocked his ass out, his own ass out? Did he feel that? Whatever, sorry, distracted. Barry has now completely rewritten the last 16 years of his life. Who knows what could possibly have changed in the future? Some fans have a hint. You see, this is pretty much the jumping off point for the ever popular Flashpoint storyline. Many fans are speculating that Flashpoint will be the driving force of season three, but I'm not so sure. I'll present my argument for why Flashpoint is a little too complicated slash it's kind of a impossible scenario for this TV show and what will most likely happen when season three kicks off. First, what is Flashpoint? Back in 2011, Barry Allen woke up in the Central City Police Department to the call that there was some crime afoot in downtown. This looks like a job for the Flash, the fastest man alive. Barry attempts to take off but slips and biffs it down a hallway. Where is his speed? Wait a minute, where is his ring that stores his suit? Oh no! To make matters more confusing, Barry's mother walks into the precinct, the mother who was murdered almost 20 years ago. What's going on here? Well, it turns out that Barry had ran back in time, saved his mother, and had a bit of amnesia. So, uh, Barry's mom's alive now, right? That's good. <laughs> No, that little break in the timeline resulted in catastrophic changes. Basically, the way DC Comics explains it, you know when something goes really fast and makes a sonic boom and it creates ripples? Well, in DC Comics, if you run fast enough through time, it creates a time boom and it uh, messes with things in the past and future. To name a few of these changes, Batman isn't Bruce Wayne. It's Thomas Wayne, his father. Bruce was killed that night in Crime Alley, which causes Thomas to become Batman and Bruce's mother to snap and become this world's version of the Joker. Pretty fun. Superman didn't land in Smallville. He landed in Metropolis, kind of creating this giant massive fiery explosion that killed a lot of people. Then he was captured by the US government, experimented on, and then ended up looking like this. Yikes. Oh, and Wonder Woman's Amazons and Aquaman's Atlantean army are in all out war, destroying basically all of Europe. Like all of it. Very, come on. A positive, a cyborg is the world's top superhero, so that's kind of the good thing that came out of this. Anyways, Barry figures out that it's his fault, has an awesome fight with the reverse Flash. Batman gets this epic takedown, and then Barry ends up running back in time again to stop himself from saving his own mother. This fixes the timeline, but thanks to some time travel slash comic book nonsense, the DC universe is a wee bit rewritten and became the New 52 universe. Fans of DC, for the most part, were pretty bananas over the Flashpoint event. People love seeing fun new takes on their favorite characters, especially when they're put in crazy scenarios. The New 52, however, uh, they weren't really a fan, so, but that's a different story. If you'd like a fun read, I'd recommend it. You don't really need to know much about what's happening in previous comics because this story completely disregards everything that's ever happened. Now, some of you might be thinking, this will be a toy thing to see on the Flash TV show. Toy! Post apocalyptic hellscape where everything is going to poop? Sign me up. Not me though, I'm just being you. Here are my problems with this idea. One, they can't really make a full season out of Flashpoint. Well, you could, but then everything that's happened on the show so far would become completely redundant. Actually, it is kind of right now with Barry's dumbass move, but hey, everything can be fixed if you just run a little faster. That's my biggest takeaway from the TV show The Flash. What I'm saying is that all the character growth and storytelling from the past two years will go out the window with Flashpoint, and that's no good. Why would they even show Wally and Jesse getting hit by the particle accelerator wave? Exactly, pointless. Reason number two. CW doesn't have all those characters. It could lead to some fun crossovers in the season three premiere with other heroes, like uh, Supergirl taking the place of Superman in the story, or if it was Oliver Queen's dad as the Batman in this universe. I don't know, it wouldn't be the same. And number three, it couldn't last a whole season because it would end up affecting Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, and now Supergirl in some way or another. CW wouldn't let one of their shows drastically affect the others. Besides like character deaths, or maybe an introduction of a sci-fi concept like uh, the multiverse or magic, etc., they're usually pretty much separate entities. The Flash is great, but you can't let Barry go run around and other heroes and other shows. Here's what I think will happen. The premiere of season three will dance around the idea of Flashpoint. A fucked up present day on the brink of self-annihilation, maybe at its worst. Then Barry will fix the timeline somehow, but there will be a remnant from the Flashpoint timeline that will become the antagonist of season three. Who will it be? Not a clue. Maybe an alternate version of Green Arrow. Maybe his arrows have some super speed in them. Maybe Barry's bad or Wally's bad. I'm not sure. It's definitely an odd choice to end a rather shaky 
season on such a weird cliffhanger. But if you want to hear my full review of The Flash, go check out Superhero Roundup here on SourceFed Nerd. Also check out our other 101s on Game of Thrones, anime, The Walking Dead, you name it, we got it. Give us a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe. Actually, throw your suggestions for what I should do in future episodes in the comments down below. I'm Sam Basher, and I'll see you next time. Ooh there, travelers. Now that we're stuck into the sixth series of Game of Thrones, I thought we'd use this 101 to talk about the top fan theories making the...